시간. Waiting for Peter Mac Cat Loose. Well, Beatrice got this phonograph, but it won't say a lonesome word. Beatrice got this little phonograph, but it won't say a lonesome Hello. Hello, I'm Mad Cat. How are you? I'm fine. Hello. Hi, welcome to Ann Arbor. <laughs> Thank you. I <laughs> I love that little phonograph. But baby, we broke the winding chain. I love that little phonograph. But baby, we broke the winding chain. I moved here in 1969. Now you take it all your life. Most of my life has been here. Let's all of my life. Obviously, don't practice this one enough. <laughs> Looks like a very um, old design. Yes. Has it got a, a name? Yes, a candolin. Played it on the sofa. Played it upside the wall. Okay, and welcome back to Bosco and Honey's Ukulele Safari 2008. And uh, we're here with uh, Peter Mad Cat Ruth. Howdy. Very so nice to meet you. Yeah, well, I'm glad your safari came through Ann Arbor. It's, <laughs> it's great. You're probably the first uh, professional musician we've uh, interviewed really? here on the Ukulele <laughs> Safari. Well, all right. And uh, and a long long term one at that I hear. Yeah, well I've been making my living uh, playing music since 1970, so that's a pretty good long time right now. I'm mostly known as a harmonica player, but I also play ukulele, and I have a couple of CDs that feature the ukulele and the harmonica. Mm -hmm. And um, when did you uh, begin playing ukulele? Uh, when I was 11 years old. Really? That was my first music. Well, I had a little Indian. American Indian drum. That was my first instrument at about age eight. Uh -huh. But at age 11, I got a ukulele. Really? And, uh, uh. I learned some Kingston Trio songs. Right. The Kingston Trio were big back then, so uh, so I learned all the all the Kingston Trio songs I could figure out. But when I was about 12, I took up guitar, and the ukulele kind of slid into the background for a few decades. Mm, <laughs> mm. But then uh, it came back out about I don't know eight years ago or so. I I see. I rediscovered the ukulele. Uh -huh, and, uh -huh. uh, but all I've been playing guitar that whole time, and all mm -hmm. the guitar technique, the finger picking technique, kind of went back onto the ukulele, and it all made sense. And, uh, mm -hmm. Easier on the fingers. Yes, yes. Less strings to worry about. That's, that's <laughs> right. Describe yourself? Yeah, I, I describe myself as a harmonica player because uh, I don't want to limit myself to any one style. Uh, I see. So I'm a musician, you know, but I do, uh, I feel perfectly at home playing home. blues. Mm. And try your daddy one more time. But then I've gone off into rock and roll and jazz. And I see. A lot of different things. Speaking of jazz, I hear that you um, have uh, played with uh, the Brubecks. 
yeah, over the years. That's right. In fact, I still play with Chris Brubeck in a group called Triple Play. <laughs> and but I did play with uh, Dave Brubeck for many years. Uh, and wow. Toured around the toured around the, the the world with him. That was great. Wow. Got to go to Europe and Mexico and Australia. And Australia New Zealand, and New Zealand and uh, uh -huh. yeah, it was fun. And when, when was that? That was in the mid-70s. I see. And then, since then, I've joined him for a show here and there. And just mm. just two, uh, two years ago, we were at the uh, Monterey Jazz Festival I again see. together. It was fun. Wow. But I love making music, and well, I, uh, I love meet, meeting musicians, and I love traveling around and seeing people from all over. And it's my life. That's great. And digging it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for people who are interested in your stuff, you, they can they can find your website and things yeah. like that. Yeah, for... madcatmusic.net. Uh huh. Well, it's easy. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for oh, yeah. hooking up with us. Uh, sure I know you're fl you're, you're flying out to Chicago yeah. this afternoon. I have to leave this afternoon. All right. To be back on the road again, but uh, yeah. I'm glad we could cross paths as you came through Michigan. Yeah, likewise. Absolutely, and I look forward to seeing one of your live shows one of these days. All right. Well, uh, I mentioned before I uh, was with Dave Brubeck's band for quite a while, and he liked to play in odd time signatures, you know, 5-4 time and 7-8 time and 9-8 time and all that. So I took an old, after that influence uh, in my life, I took an old folk song called 500 Miles and I put it in 5-4 time, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But just to make things interesting, I play my foot in 4-4 four, four time all the way through it. But the ukulele in the rest of the song is in 5-4. Got tears in my eyes Trying to read this letter from my heart If that train loves me right I'll be home tomorrow night I'm 500 miles to my home And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow Five hundred miles.